What's going on, all of you fantastic freelancers? My name is William, also known as the guy that will never be able to pronounce Missile Salvo, Slavo, eh, and has a 50-50 chance of messing up its pronunciation. Anyways, it's that time of the week again, time for another Anthem Dev Tracker. As per the usual, these tweets come from our incredible developers working on Anthem, a very special one at the end of this for our Anthem partner, and new Anthem screenshots courtesy of Steve Anderson, one of the devs on Anthem. If you've been with me for any period of time you know the drill, and if not, these tweets aren't listed in any special order aside from when the tweet was tweeted. Is what I would usually say, but for whatever reason, Twitter's advanced search feature goofed and reordered or misplaced altogether some tweets. Let's just get into it, shall we? Our first tweet of the week comes from Alex, who tweets to producer Mark Dara if the PC will have controller support. We're starting this list off right with one of Mark Dara's legendary responses that as per the usual says it all. Our next tweet is from iQuantum Paradise. Paradox, who tweets if Anthem will have a full screen windowed option. Mark replied that he thinks so, seeing as Dragon Age Inquisition and Mass Effect Andromeda both featured the full screen windowed option. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this user's name, but they tweeted if Anthem will have ultra wide support. Mark states that he thinks so as well for that, but uh, some cutscenes will have bars. Matthias tweets, hey, just like the Arcanist, tweets to Mark if there was going to be keyboard and my support for consoles. Mark replied that he doesn't know, but more than likely not for launch. KB and M support is just now coming to the Xbox without some sort of adapter or special add-on, so it kind of makes sense that this would be on the back burner for right now. This next tweet comes from our very own Discord community member, Mr. Kickin' Tail, who tweets to Mark if there will be levels that are flight only. Mark states that you can't fly long enough to get through an entire level without landing to cool your jets. It makes you wonder what exactly is going on in this clip then. Our next tweet is from Mike Gamble, who tweets out this image of a team going over a cutscene with Faye and Halleck with the caption, in times of darkness, you have friends you can count on. Another fan tweets out if the storm will be able to use other elemental abilities or will it just use thunder-like abilities. I'm assuming Mark's yes is for the fact that the storm can use other elemental abilities. Raphael tweets if there are plans for cross-progression in Anthem. For those of you who don't know what cross-progression is, it's essentially if I wanted to play on PC and then go on to Xbox, I could have all the same items, progression, and so on from my time on PC. At any rate, Mark replied that cross-progression would not be available at launch. This next tweet by Cole is possibly one of my favorite tweets on this week's list. Cole wants to know if Anthem will have effect cosmetics. Mark replied that effect cosmetics will not be a launch thing, but hopefully later on they will be. Armando Vortex tweets if there will be optimization improvements for Anthem once it releases. Mark replied that because of dedicated servers, they will likely be doing some form of optimization for as long as the game is running. Another weekly dev tracker constant flyer is Avenger2108, who tweets if we have three gear slots in a addition to the two weapon slots, or the three gear slots restricted to one location on each javelin. So instead of running a flamethrower and multi-mortar, could you instead run two shoulder abilities and leave the arm empty? Mark replied that that would not be possible. Storm tweets if there will be a forge on the strider, to which Mark replied that there would be, which makes sense all things considered. Ash Stargazer tweets if we will be limited to one of each weapon type to fill both weapon slots, or can we equip two snipers or LMGs at once? Mark's reply puts a big smile on my face and states that if you want to have two of the same guns, you totally can. This tweet is simply here because it made me laugh, and full disclosure, I have every faith in the team that they will get Anthem primed and ready for February. Paul tweets it seems that there is a lot of we're not sure about that yet, or not at launch lately, and if Anthem is even going to be ready for launch in February. He also adds that he foresees another delay. Mark's reply is possibly his best one yet, and states that he sees dead people. 10 out of 10 reference, and uh, Mark, you should probably get that checked out. Champ Dog 1998 tweets if the setting from the demo will carry over to Anthem when it releases. Mark replied that his guess would be no. King Z tweets if there will be a photo mode. Andy realizes that it would be hard to do coming from the fact that it's an online game, but uh, but let's face it, it would be awesome if there was one. Mark replied that they will see, but uh, there's a lot to be done. I'm personally hoping for this one like crazy, as I would love to see what the community could do with this. Perhaps we could hold a weekly contest when the game releases for the best photos, when or if this feature is released for some premium currency. Either way, I'm all for this feature. 
This next tweet comes from Mike Gamble who is showing off an image of the new Stronghold. I tried zooming in to see if I could pull any details like I did for Ben Irving's tweet, but I couldn't do it. If you want to check out Ben's tweet that I'm mentioning about the Storm's Ultimate, a card will appear to go have a look-see at the video we made on it. Our next tweet comes from Kevin who asks if it's possible for solo players to create their own combo damage. Mark replied that it is possible with the right gear. Second to last of the dev tweets again comes from Kevin who wants to know if he can equip the flamethrower while also having the multi-mortar equipment or are there any other future abilities that would take up the left bumper button? Or will you have to equip the napalm style mortar instead? Can we mix up the ability slots? Man, that was a lot of questions. Mark replied that in addition to two guns, there are three gear slots. Multi-mortars go on the shoulder and flamethrower on the arm. Essentially, you can use both at once. And our last dev tweet comes from Iceman who tweets what the third gear slot is. Is it our ultimate or a secret for now? Mark replied that technically the ultimate and melees are also gear slots, but they won't be changeable at launch. Now, hold your horses, the video isn't over yet. We still have a tweet from our good buddy and partner Laz and some new Anthem screenshots courtesy of Steve Anderson. For those of you who don't know, Lazari, or Laz as he is better known as, is a fairly big artist in the Anthem community and he needs our help. He has recently entered into a contest using one of his incredible Mass Effect designs. If you wouldn't mind taking a few minutes to go vote after the video, that would mean the world to him and everyone here at the Your Anthem community. And now for the last bit of the video. Mr. Steve Anderson, one of Anthem's incredible developers, has secured us two new beautiful screenshots for Anthem. Many thanks to Steve and Bags from Anthem Insider for sharing them with the your Anthem community. We really appreciate it, gents. And with that, I believe that's the end of the weekly dev tracker. Do you all have any questions for the devs? Let me know in the comment section below and I will tweet them their way. If you are new to the channel and like what we are doing, feel free to subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, a like would be appreciated. And lastly, a huge thank you to my patrons for your generous donations and support. As always, I hope all of you fantastic freelancers have a phenomenal day, have plans to make this next week great, and I'll be looking forward to seeing you all in the next video very soon. Peace out, everyone.